Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we will uh, discuss about the, uh, how to enter the journal in Fusion. So what we need to do, we need to log in into as a user who has the journal accounting role. Just log in into that and then click on journal accounting. Click on journals. Now here on the right, uh, on the taskbar, you need to select create journal. And after clicking on uh, create journal, you will get this page, journal entry, and uh, what are the details that you need to enter to create a journal, you need to enter the journal batch name. I'm giving a name ASM journal batch. Accounting period, uh, whatever the accounting period is open, that will be showing over here. And you can just change it to the next open period or whatever the period or already been opened in the system. So we can select that period. And then next uh, already been selected the ledger that the data access set to this user, user's role already been showing on the left top corner. It, that will be reflecting the ledger over here under the journal area. And uh, then you need to select the category in under which category you want to enter this journal. So I'm selecting over here, uh, the accrual. And then I need to enter the line journal lines. So select over, let's just scroll it right. Yeah. And then select it. You can just select from the drop down. I'm selecting the company, 001. I've selected the 001, which is the ASM Motors. And then I can select the ASM account. Suppose I'm receiving some cash from the customer and the manual journal I'm entering into the system. So I have selected the cash. So no, I'm just there's no need to enter any, if you have some, want to book a journal for a specific call center, so you can put over here. Otherwise you can put as a default, which is uh, the value we have under the segment values. Enter the debit amount. I'm entering over here, hundred dollars. Then jump to the next line and enter whatever the account under which you are receiving some cash. Because I'm entering a, a general entry, which is cash account debited to receivables. So then that's under the same, for the same company, I have entered this, selected the company segment value, and then receivables. Receivables is nothing, this is the data only. Our customer's account and I'm not taking any cost center here. Click on okay. And enter the credit amount, $1,000. Click on save. And after the completion, click on complete. We can post it to the journal. Yeah, so this is a request ID that already been generated by the system for the posting. Once you will be clicking on the uh, post button, then it will showing generated request ID. So what I need to do, I can check the status of this general posting uh, by going into navigator. No. 
as this user is not having that uh, security console or employee role. So that's why uh, this user doesn't have that uh, access authority uh, privilege to access the schedule processes. So we can go back to the another user who has the responsibility or the role of employee. Let me log in into the another user. who has the FSM and employee role so that we can check that. Okay. Go to navigator and go to tools. Under the tools, we can have schedule processes Okay. Let's go back to the user uh, who entered this journal because I need to take that request ID. Let's check the uh, the status of that journal, has it posted or not? Go to journal accounting and journals. Again, go to the task and manage journal. Okay. So we have entered this journal, the, the last one, and it's been posted. You can check the status over here, right? So that means that uh, process already been completed successfully and this journal already been posted to GL. And let me check the, the status now. All right. So it's been posted to GL. So. Uh, So this is how we can enter the journal and uh, post it to GL. You can post this batch. So system generated a batch, right? This is a batch name, the journal name, or you can say. So also we can discuss about the reversal of this journal, how to uh, reverse this any posted journal. So it's been posted and we can reverse the journal in any following period or we can change the period. So Let's uh, reverse this so that we can understand how to reverse the journal. So go to journal. Under the journal, show, you need to click on the show more. This is a link. Under this show more, you have this option, reversal. Click on that. So under which period you want to reverse this. So you have the option to select the period. I'm selecting over here within the same period I want to uh, reverse the journal. So current status of reversal status is not reversed, right? So let's reverse it. Let me save it now again. I have saved it. So okay, let's take the name of the journal batch and 
Requery it. Go to tasks, manage journal. Put the journal batch name here and click on search. equals to, I am just, just selecting the journal criteria equals to this. Starts with, let me take the start with the ASM. No, okay, ASM. Let's check the status of the journal already been reversed or not. Let's try to open again. Let's close it. Once you reverse the journal, so again, one more request process already been run. So let's complete, let it be completed so that we can check the status of it, right? So what we need to do, we need to just uh, go there, the journal action and reverse only, and then save it. Let's check the status now. Click on done. Go to manage journal. So the journal. Now you can see uh, the reversal already been generated and its status is now unposted. So uh, once it's been reverse, so what we need to do, we need to post it to the respective G ledger, right? So again, what I need to do, I need to post this journal. Again, the confirmation is for the process. Another process could be run for the posting of this journal. Let's check the status of this journal again. Again, go to tasks, manage journals, and search the journal. Now you can see the reversal of uh, above journal is now posted. So both the journals uh, being posted to the respective ledger. So this is how uh, friends we have understand. Uh, we have understood this, uh, how to enter the journal and uh, how to enter the reversal of the respective journal. Hope you will like this video and please subscribe and share my uh, channel, right? And we will see, uh, see you on the next channel, next video. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching.